three, four, it is five, so annoying. six, the trials seven, of filming eight, on the fly, nine, being an uh, influencer, a YouTuber, or whatever, but filming on the like this. This shoot, I'm doing everything. I'm styling, I'm producing, I'm art directing. It's a lot. Uh, I enjoy it, but uh, it is a lot. And getting all the clothes together can, can be a lot to, to do. Um, but that's just the way it is. I already have a couple of other brands that I spoke I spoke to, uh, the staff that I'm going to be working with. I think you guys are going to be really excited. Um, I have to film all of it, and then of course there'll be um, on the shoot itself. You see all the great pieces and brands that I'm going to be working with. But yeah, so I'm headed to Flying Solo on West Broadway and um, hope to get some good picks there, pull some great pieces, and yeah, that's what I'm doing today. I feel as usual. And uh, tomorrow, the weather is nice. I might uh, head to the beach. This, I've had off over the last two weeks and pretty much it's been like either overcast or raining the, almost the entire two weeks. It rains every weekend. Um, I bought a beach pass. I probably won't next year because it's just the weather now is too unreliable. Like literally, it's beautiful all in June when I was in the office every single day. And on the weekends, it rained. I'm like, oh great, I have two weeks off in July. Rain and overcast like every day, except for one day. And um, I went out to uh, the Bay Porch Flower, uh, Flower House, which you guys saw that video. That was a nice day, but the one day the sun came out. It's supposed to be nice tomorrow, so I might head to the beach, but then it's the weekend and my vacation's over. And after that, really, it's gonna be Paris. I really am making an effort to get to Paris this fall. I don't care, I'll take money out of my savings. I don't care the boots I have to jump through. I really, really plan on going. So it's been two years since I've been to Paris, so I really, really hope to get there. Wish me luck. I'm not quite sure, guys, what I'm wearing. I have my Bottega Vanilla glasses on. I love these glasses. Love them. I'm so glad I got them. I got them at this um, sample sale we had when I uh, worked in the publishing industry. So, yeah. this mask here, which I'll be putting on when I'm on the train. Um, my sister gave me yesterday, gave me three. So, this again is my name necklace, which um, is always backwards. It's always backwards. I need to figure out how to flip uh, the image in Final Cut Pro because my name necklace is always backwards. And my Ted Baker jacket, you guys have seen this before. I love this jacket. Um, my waisted, um, my high waisted uh, gap, they call the ribcage jeans. Even me, but I have a long torso, so even, uh, they're not even quite, I mean, they're not even really, uh, they're not even hitting my belly button. I mean, they're just hitting my belly button, they're still, they don't even cover it. I mean, they're supposed to be like super high, but. My long torso, that's never the case. It's very hard for me to find uh, high waisted jeans that fit the way I like. I need them to be like super high rise to actually cover my belly button the way they're supposed to if they're high rise jeans or transverse. Anyway. So, that's my basic look for the day. You all have seen this stuff before, nothing new here. This is a bag here, you can find some before too. I've had this for a couple of years. It's, I 
now we're going back to the trend of going into big bags. You know, biggest is about to be a commuter. You know, little bags don't leave work for me, so I'm just gonna like run out and leave it in the car. But anyway, bless you guys. Uh, like I said, have a good one. So.
Okay, but I just came from the showroom right back. It was so hot. Everything was so heavy. I'm going to pass out my back here. But it's done. And uh, we're, we have one hour left. And we're in a great pace here. So fast. We have a couple more looks. And we we'll have a much time.